Hi, I want to talk about fashion and I know this is a very new channel, but I'm like, I have so much to say. I feel like it's time for me to actually start a fashion channel because I've been watching fashion content on YouTube for the longest time. And I feel like, especially in the past year or so, I've been really into it and I've seen so many videos about like, you know, this year's fashion trends. And I just, I want to participate. Every time I watch a video, I'm like, I just, I, I got something to say, so. I want to share today about the 2023 fall fashion trends that I am just not interested in. And a lot of these have been in people's, oh my god, I can't wait to wear these fall fashion trends now I'm over there, like, mm -mm, not me. <laughs> Listen, if you like any of these trends, that's great. I totally appreciate fashion as a way of expression and an art form, and I never judge other people's content or other people's style, but there are just certain things that I feel like for myself, it's just not going to look good and it's just not my style. So this is all personal, you know, opinions and preferences. So please take this with a grain of salt. It can probably get a little bit iffy in the comment section on these videos from what I've seen from other channels. So let's just go ahead and jump in. So the first trend, I feel like everyone, or maybe not everybody, but a lot of people are going to agree with this. And this is the no pant trend. I feel like it's pretty obvious that people aren't going to walk out with just like tights on, you know? Like maybe some people would, Kendall Jenner might do that, I don't know, the Kardashians, all of them might do that, not me. <laughs> Especially as someone who is a pretty bottom heavy, like pear shape and I'm petite, that look is just not really, <laughs> like imagine me wearing like kind of sheer-ish pantyhose and like a bodysuit, like the way that the pantyhose or like tights will sheer out, you know, on the bigger part of your body, it's just not a flattering look. So for me, it's gonna be a no. It works on the runways. It can probably work on, you know, the red carpet or special events, but as an everyday thing, no, definitely not for me. I've seen people style it in a way that makes sense. I'm not even going to try. The next trend that I personally will not be participating in is the quiet luxury trend. I know that this has gotten so much hype and I get it. It's a very classic style. It looks good on a lot of, really everybody. It looks good on everybody. As long as you get the fit on the clothing right, it can look great. But I feel like I'm, for my style, I, I love color. I love prints. I love loud. <laughs> I just like loud clothing, what can I say? I mean, today I'm not wearing anything super loud, but I'm someone whose style is all over the place. And I feel like quiet luxury is just not really my personality. I, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's hard for me to explain exactly why I don't like it, but I think it's just because I find it kind of boring. And boring, boring and classic, classic is not a word that I would use to explain my style. And there are so many fashion channels on YouTube who has this style. And it's also one of the reasons I wanted to start this channel because I feel like there is, there's room for me. I feel like my style is not like everyone else's, but it's also not like so far stretched out to the point where it's like crazy in costume that maybe I have something to offer. I don't know. I'm going to show you more about my personal style in future videos, of course, but I just wanted to start simple, just like talking about trends because it's just something that's been on my mind a lot lately. <laughs> the next thing is using lingerie as clothing. And there are definitely right ways to do this. I've seen this done beautifully with like, you know, slip dresses that are like, you know, dressed up really nicely. And I think there's a lot of ways you can incorporate this trend like in a tasteful way. But I think for myself, especially as, as a fall piece, I don't think that really works for me. I'm someone who's like always cold and I feel like something like a slip dress is just not gonna give me enough warmth. I get you could layer it and stuff, but I just don't feel like it's for me. It feels a little bit just like I'm going to bed and I don't, I wanna keep my, pajamas and my regular clothes separate. So many people wear beautiful like lingerie outfits and stuff like that. And I just don't feel like I could pull that off personally. I appreciate it on other people, just not on me. The next thing I might get some hate for because I know a lot of people love this, but this is the denim maxi skirt trend. Don't, don't come for me. I know, I know a lot of people love it. I, again, as a, I'm gonna say this a lot, as a petite pair, 
I just don't think it's gonna work for me because I just feel like it's, it's denim is such a heavy fabric and to have all of your bottom ha half of your body like covered in denim that's just like hanging there, I feel like it would drown me. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I also have not seen, and I'm sorry if, you know, the pictures that I'm showing, I'm trying to show pictures of more kind of like runway shows. Some have been taken from Pinterest, but I, I mean no offense to anybody who are in these photos, but I just, I haven't seen anybody style a denim maxi skirt in a way that makes me go, wow, I like that. So I think it's just like the piece of clothing itself that I don't like. And so for that reason, it's hard for me to see any outfits with that piece of clothing that I actually think looks good because I just think that the <laughs> maxi denim skirts are ugly. <laughs> like this is just my opinion, but I just, I just don't, I just don't get it. I don't get it. The next thing that I will not be participating in is the big puffer jacket. And this is another trend that as a small, should I say it again? I'm just petite, okay? And I feel like a large puffer would just like swallow me whole. And it's not the look that I'm really going for. And also I live in Vegas and so it's pretty warm here. Even during the fall, it gets cold at night, but I definitely don't need a puffer jacket during the day. I definitely would need like a warm jacket like that going out at night, but it's not gonna be my choice of outfit. Let's just put it that way. I don't, I do think that I, for the most part, I try to wear flattering clothes. I hate that saying, but at the same time, it's the best way to have one word express how I feel about a, an outfit or an item of clothing. And I hope you guys understand that. Like I'm a very body positive person. I think that anybody can wear whatever they want and look great. But for me, I like to dress for my body and for my body shape. And I think that a big puffer jacket would just not be what I would consider to look the best on me personally. So I'm probably going to stay away from that and just kind of appreciate other people's outfits from afar. And if I see someone out wearing one, I'll be like, that looks great on you, but I don't think I wanna wear that. The next thing that I also just, I hate using the word ugly, but like I just, this is the kind of racing gear and motocross jackets, like the heavy, that looks like you just stepped out of a race car kind of thing. I see a lot of people thrifting them. And I just don't really think they're that cool. Like, I feel like there's a reason people donated them. I'm sorry. I just, I just don't. I think you need to be a very special kind of person to be able to pull that off. And maybe everybody who does buy, you know, clothing like that are those special kind of people. And honestly, they probably are. I have seen them styled in pretty cool ways, but I also just feel like they're very limiting in the way that you can style them like how often are you going to wear a jacket like that it's such a statement piece that unless you want that to become like your personal style and like the one piece that you're known for i feel like it's just a little too a little too not out there but i just feel like it would be hard to get enough wear out of it if you get it cheaply if you thrift it you know, sure, have fun with it for a couple of wears and then maybe next season you give it to someone else who wants to try the new style as well. So yeah, I don't know. The next thing is another one that I, I really like this on other people and so many people are able to pull this off so beautifully. And this is like the big shoulder pads and like big oversized uh, blazers, anything with like big structured shoulders. I don't think that I am the person who this trend is made for. Again, I'm short. I feel like it swallows me. It makes me look more top heavy and it just makes me look like even though it balances out my proportions more, it just makes me look larger in general. And I just feel like it's just, it's not something that makes me confident in the way that I look. And I just, blazers in general, I know I'm probably one of the few people in the fashion community who is not just absolutely drooling over every blazer that see, they see, but it's not my style. Style. I feel like it's a little too preppy for me, maybe, and a little too like officey. I don't know. Like I've had blazers in the past, and I just cannot, for the life of me, like I just I don't want to wear them. Like I'll look at them, and be like, that's so cool. I'll try to put together outfits, and then it just 
it never clicks for me. So maybe I just need to accept it. I'm not a blazer person. That's okay. Not everybody needs to be a blazer person. Love them on other people, just not for me. Next thing on my list is something that I haven't seen a ton of, but I have seen, you know, some here and there, like just talked about as trend. Haven't really seen them in stores yet, but this is fuzzy shoes. Fuzzy shoes. It's kind of cool, I suppose, but like not when the whole shoe is covered in fuzz and like fuzzy heels. What? No, how impractical. Like it's gonna get so dirty, so gross. Even living in Vegas where it doesn't really like rain or get muddy or anything like that, it's still, it would get dust all over it and just not look very good. Listen, I love my Uggs. I have a couple of Uggs with like the, like the fur, faux fur kind of thing around. So it kind of looks fluffy, but this is just on a, a whole other level. And I feel like this is mostly for like runway and it looks cool with certain outfits, but I don't think it's very practical. And I don't think we're gonna be seeing a lot of people wearing them. So it's m more of those like, yeah, it's cool to look at, but I don't think most people are actually going to like wear those out in public. I could be wrong, you see everything in Vegas. So if there's ever a place that I'll see something like that, it would be here. And listen, I love people watching. So if I see one, I will definitely appreciate it. I'll be staring like in a very appreciating way, <laughs> but also be like, no thanks. The last thing I wanted to just kind of mention this as well, but I feel like this is a trend that I could maybe get on board with, but right now it's sort of the lace up everything trend where you have like the lace ups all the way up the leg on the pants, like in as a way to like, you know, instead of having a zipper and a button, you have like a tie up. And I feel like the reason I'm, I don't know if I want to say against it, it's just because I feel like I grew up with this trend. I'm 35 and when I was, was I maybe like, 15, 12 to 15 something. My mom would wear all those all the time. And I just remember that trend so, so strongly. And I remember being in stores and all the pants would have like the lace up uh, waists. And I loved those back then, but they didn't really, I feel like they didn't really look that good on me because the cuts that were popular back then was more low rise. So maybe Maybe if I could find like a high-waisted pair of trousers with like a lace-up front detail, could be kind of cute. Could be cute on jackets. Maybe, it's a maybe. I'm keeping my eyes out. I'm not gonna say no, because I feel like it's something that I would like if done correctly in a way that kind of goes with my style as of this very moment. So I think those are going to be the trends that I probably won't partake in, but never say never about anything. I'm someone who changes my mind about things all the time and I'm sure we all do. So just a very lighthearted video if you're new to my channel, which all of you are probably because it's my first video. I hope you would consider subscribing, joining my family. We're gonna have a lot of fun here. I'm excited to make more content. I think my next video is probably going to be trends that I'm excited to wear this year and then show you some ways that I would style those trends with pieces that I already have. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye.